Okay, let's do a few more problems here, just so you can get the idea of what you're dealing with. Let's try the seventh root of k times the square root of k. And remember that the square root has an invisible 2 index. Having trouble writing the 2 there. 2. There we go. Now, when you multiply uh, radicals that have different indexes, or indices it used to be called, you have to change to rational exponents. So we'll have k to the 1 7th power times k to the 1 half power. And since you have like bases, you can add your exponents. Here we go, k to the 1 7th plus 1 half. Now you can use your calculator to add 1 7th and 1 half if you want to, or you can do it by hand. Your LCD is going to be 14 because both 2 and 7 go evenly into 14. It's kind of a bad 14. Let me try again. That's a little better, isn't it? Okay, notice that these are the denominators down there. Because that's the way you do this. So we're going to have k to the 9 14th power. which, since we started with radicals, we have to end with radicals. The 14th root of k to the 9th power. And that's our answer. Now let's try another one that's very similar. Here we go. Um, how about this one? We'll have the ninth root of y times the square root of y. So once again, we'll use the invisible 2 index. We'll multiply using rational exponents. k to the 1 ninth times k to the 1 half power. And this will equal k to the 1 ninth plus one half, which will equal k LCD 18 numerator 2 plus 9 And we'll have k to the 11 eighteenths, which will be the 18th root of k to the 11th power. Okay, let's do one more that's similar. but not exactly like this. We're going to actually use numbers. We'll have 3 to the 3 fifths power times 3 to the 1 tenths power. This is going to be 3 to the 3 fifths plus 1 tenth 
Notice that my bases are the same, so I can do this. If the bases were not the same, I could not do it. Okay, clearly, 10 is going to be the LCD. I'm going to convert 3 fifths to tenths. 3 fifths is 6 tenths. So I'll have 3 to the 6 tenths plus 1 tenth. which is going to equal 3 to the 7 tenths. And again, I don't have to convert this to radical notation at all. Okay, talk to you later.